Well, if you like survival games, like for example, Sons of the Forest or Icarus, and I loved both of those. As a matter of fact, I am still making my way through Icarus. I've spent probably close on 200 plus hours in that game so far. It's a never ending game, to be honest. You can easily spend a thousand hours in that game, no problem. And maybe that will be the case for this game called Permafrost. It's a third person uh, survival game game set in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by an eternal winter so very very cold looks like <laughs> here very white it's going to be a very white game so uh, i'm a little concerned about that everything being white and stuff you know burning through your eyeballs uh, but maybe they can uh, maybe they can mitigate that somehow players must navigate a harsh and unforgiving environment uh, scavenging for resources, crafting tools and weapons, and building shelters to survive. So you manage hunger, thirst, and warmth to stay alive in a in a frigid, frigid world. Uh, create a variety of tools, weapons, and structures to help you survive. Explore a vast world filled with dangerous creatures and valuable resources. And you can build things as well, lots of building in this. Build and customize your own base to uh, protect yourself from the elements and hostile factions. Uh, play with friends and other players online to survive the harsh winter together. So the game emphasizes survival, exploration, crafting, and a strong focus on player choice and decision making. Players will need to make tough choices about how to uh, allocate resources and how to interact with other survivors. So this does look very, very appealing, I have to say, and very interesting, right? Being um, playing in a winter environment 100% of the time, like you're not going from a different, uh, you know, section of the map to another section of the map and things change different biomes and stuff that's not happening here. Like for example, in Icarus, it looks like this entire map is it's snow, it's cold, it's freezing. So it's a different take for sure. But yeah, and you can download the demo, by the way. There's a demo for this if you want to check it out. So let us know if you do. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded the demo and played it for a little while, and it is very, very good. I think this game has a lot of potential, despite the fact that it's snow, snow, and more snow, but very interesting. However, this is something very important to note. The demo does not have a save function. With this demo being three plus hours long, it would have been really nice to have some kind of saving system in it, but it doesn't. And the developer has actually addressed this in the post here, which I will link to in the YouTube description down below. And you can go over here and leave a comment if you want to. Remember, this game is not officially released yet, and it won't be until next year. So the developers are pouring time into developing the game and not spending too much time on some kind of saving system, you know, for the demo. And this is kind of what they explain here, right? I'll just read a portion of this. We just wanted to inform everyone that the demo version of Permafrost does not have a saving system or any way to save your progress. That means once you start and close the game, you cannot come back to that playthrough. It's a really interesting game. I have to say, the little short period of time that I spent in it, I, I am, uh, I am now. I've got a taste for it, and I think it's, I think it's going to be good.